Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, they may be flipping that switch in the next hour with a little bit of light rain falling, but maybe we'll get into the holiday look of it all and get some snow in the Treasure Valley. It's not going to be for a little while yet as the mild weather continues. I'm going to try to run through your travel forecast now for the week and what's going on because a lot going on this week for people traveling. 56, my three degree guarantee for the day tomorrow. Another mild day at 57 today. Just amazing how mild it has been across the Northwest. Look at these high temperatures throughout the region. Mid 50s were supposed to be in the 40s. We're talking mid 50s. Here, so a tremendous amount of moisture has moved on, or, or warm temperatures have moved in. 58 degrees in Twin Falls, 42 McCall. Looks like we'll see those temperatures in the mountains stay uh, on the mild side, considering there's a lot of moisture headed for the mountains, but most of it will fall in the form of rain over the next couple of days, ending as snow as those snow levels come back down just a little bit. Take a look at what's happening uh, with that precipitation I just mentioned coming in from the west, and there it is, just about approaching Boise now. So moderate rain falling near Ontario and point south between Ontario and Caldwell. This thin band of rain will continue to march to the east. It'll be rain at the mountains as well. Raining in Caldwell, Nampacuna right now. Boise will get some of that rain as it moves on through from west to east. You go up to the north here, some pockets of snow on the higher peaks, but that's really about it. We'll get rain in McCall as well. It might mix with snow at times, but I still think those, these snow levels are going to stay pretty high with this, and the mild weather will continue. Snow levels could go as high as 7,000 feet for a time tomorrow when the bulk of our precipitation comes through. So there's that moisture tracking in from the west to east. It's 40 in McCall, 37 in Stanley, 30, uh, 43 in Sun Valley. No snow in the ground in McCall and no snow in the ground in Stanley anymore as so the snow has melted. Sun Valley does have snow in the mountain and colder weather will be coming in. A big blast of cold weather just sitting offshore. Strong jet stream. Wind gusts at Astoria, Oregon, 92 miles an hour with this storm system blasting on in. In the mountains here along the Cascades here, wind gusts of up to 114 miles per hour. So this is a strong jet stream that's tracking with a lot of moisture, all kinds of flood warnings going on along the west coast here of uh, Seattle down to Portland, and they'll continue to get some of that heavy rain, and we'll see that heavy rain shift towards the central mountains over the next few days. Here's the future cast for this evening at 7 o'clock. You see some rain showers, and they'll tend to disappear a little bit, but they'll just redevelop overnight tonight, and the best places to get rain tomorrow, Boise northwards to the foothills, so the northern valley down near the Snake River probably dry tomorrow, and heavy precipitation in the mountains, mostly a form of rain, but you get above 5,500 to 6,000 feet, maybe as high 6,500 feet. That's where you have to go to get the snow as it continues to warm in those locations. And later in the day, we see some cloud cover come through. The wider view shows that on Wednesday, more precipitation comes through as well. We'll see this here as the Tuesday and mid, uh, Wednesday and midday. This is the front right here, midday and Wednesday. Once that goes through, we dry out, but snow could fly in the mountains around the blues. I think it's going to be rain. People have been asking me, is it going to be bad? On Wednesday afternoon, it could snow a little bit in the blues, but overall, with this huge storm coming in, most of it will be in the form of rain, as we see right here, but lowering snow levels will bring that rain back down. There's the holiday travel forecast for Tuesday and Wednesday. There's the colder weather coming back in. Even some flight delays possible in the northwest. Probably not in Boise, but Seattle and Portland could have that Thanksgiving Day and Black Friday will get colder as that colder weather moves on in. Quick check the forecast for the Treasure Valley. 50s tomorrow, breezy, showers likely, especially northern sections north of I-84, but everybody has a good chance of seeing some showers. My on your side extended forecast. We will stay stormy for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, off and on. Okay, so today we've got it tonight, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thanksgiving will be dry and colder. Friday will be dry. And then we have a chance of snow showers here by next Monday, a week from today. Until then, mild. Mild and wet, though. Mild and wet. Not Thanksgiving. But not Thanksgiving. But not Thanksgiving. Yeah. Thanksgiving will be dry. Coming up on today's Six on Your Side,